Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. So on this channel we would like to review a couple of potential questions from the FAA private pilot test prep. So today's questions are related to wind shear. Simply put, wind shear is a change in wind speed and or direction which can occur at any altitude. So what's the difference then between wind shear and turbulence or really are they the same? Well, they're very similar. So turbulence is more of like a general term of how stable the air is, you know, how bumpy is the air while you're flying. And wind shear is a more specific type of turbulence. Um, like as we mentioned, it's a general change in wind speed or direction of an air mass. Now there are a few different conditions which can contribute to wind shear. So let's look at some of them. First of all, there's frontal zones. So a front is a transition zone between two different air masses. Each air mass has its own characteristics such as temperature and humidity. And on the border of the two air masses along this front there is generally wind shear. Another cause of wind shear is a temperature inversion. An inversion is a layer of the atmosphere in which the temperature increases with an increase in altitude. Inversions commonly occur within the lowest few thousand feet above the ground due to nighttime radiational cooling. Uh, also, they could occur along frontal zones and when the cold air is trapped in a valley. Strong wind shears often occur across temperature inversion layers when the wind at two to 4,000 feet is at least 25 knots. So another example is CAT or clear air turbulence. Clear air turbulence is a higher altitude turbulence, say between 20,000 and 40,000 feet, occurring in cloud-free regions, generally between the core of the jet stream and the surrounding air. And also microbursts, they can create wind shear. So remember a microburst is a concentrated downdraft of air, um, which then spreads out as it interacts with the ground. And a microburst is especially dangerous to aircraft when it is encountered when climbing on takeoff or approaching to land. Because obviously during this phase of flight, the aircraft is operating at a relatively slow speed and a major change in wind velocity can lead to a loss of lift and a bad situation. So with that little overview in mind, let's look at a couple potential questions on the FAA knowledge test. So question one, where does wind shear occur? Only at higher altitudes, at all altitudes in all directions or only at lower altitudes? So the answer is B. Remember wind shear can occur at all altitudes and in all directions. There are certain wind shears specifically at certain altitudes, right? Like CAT is at higher altitudes and microbursts more or less at the lower altitudes, but really it can occur anywhere. So question number two, a pilot can expect a wind shear zone in a temperature inversion whenever the wind speed at 2,000 to 4,000 feet above the surface is at least 10, 15, or 25 knots. So 25 knots, answer C. So when taking off or landing in calm wind under clear skies within a few hours before or after sunset, you can prepare for a temperature inversion near the ground. You can be relatively certain of this if the wind is 25 knots or more at 2,000 to 4,000 feet above the surface. So then lastly, when may hazardous wind shear be expected? Uh, in areas of a low level temperature inversion, frontal zones and clear air turbulence, following frontal passage when stratocumulus clouds form indicating mechanical mixing, or C when stable air crosses a mountain barrier where it tends to flow in layers forming lenticular clouds. So the correct answer here is A. Remember wind shear is a change in wind speed and or direction which can occur at any altitude and the items listed here, low level temperature inversion, frontal zones, and clear air turbulence, these are examples of where wind shear can be expected. So there you go everyone, a little information on wind shear. Thanks for riding along today. We we'll hope you join us on a future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.